Partisan redistricting, or gerrymandering, is about fractions, percentages. These coins represent voters in an evenly divided state, 50 dimes, 50 pennies. They elect 10 representatives. That means each district map must contain 10 coins. Of course, real people don't live in neat rows, so let's mix them up. This is our hypothetical state. Let's see what happens if the dimes draw the maps. 10 coins in each district. So first thing we do is pack the pennies. Give them two safe districts, but pack them solid. The remaining eight districts are won by the dimes, by smaller but still comfortable margins. The dimes win eight districts, and the pennies win two. The dimes overwhelmingly control the legislature. Of course, if the pennies drew the district lines, the opposite could happen. Let's rig it for the pennies. For the pennies, we pack the dimes into two safe districts and crack the remaining eight districts and win by the same margin, eight to two. Well, now that we've destroyed democracy, let's consider how this would look if the maps were drawn based on compactness and keeping communities of interest together. You get evenly divided districts in an evenly divided state. There are some that go heavily dime, there are some that go penny, but that's to be expected. People live where they live, and that's what democracy is about. It's not about party bosses rigging elections for them.